Hey guys, and welcome back to Ultra Game World. And today we are looking at this Gigabyte B550M DS 3H motherboard. Now, this motherboard is a micro ATX motherboard on the B550 platform. Now, I do have a little residue sticker here, so don't worry about that. But this uh, motherboard is good for the AMD third gen Ryzen uh, desktop processors. However, they're not compatible with the 3200G and the 3400G. So all processors like the um, 3100, the 3300X, the 3600, 3700X, 3800X and 3900X and I think 3950X are all perfectly compatible. Uh, anything which is like first gen or second gen isn't compatible, unfortunately, with this motherboard, uh, as it is the B550 uh, chipset. But there have been some people who have reported that actually they do work, and some people have got even first gen in a B550 board working fine, although it's not officially compatible. You really have to have third gen uh, Ryzen, otherwise it's not compatible. Or if you want to go to the 5000 series, you can do the 5000 series as well, but you will need a BIOS update with this one. It doesn't support out of the box the 5000 series. But with the BIOS update, it would work fine. Now, if we just have a quick look at that here before we go into the unboxing. Uh, so you've got the 5 plus 3 digital PWM design, so your uh, power delivery here, which is, is pretty respectable. There's actually uh, a heat sink here as well, which you can see from the diagram, which actually colors the VRMs, which is really nice. Um, some sort of details here. Obviously you get the PCIe 4th gen um, support, so that's really good. Uh, you get quite a lot of um, ports on this as well. I think you get eight USB ports. Um, you've got active cooling, uh, you've got passive cooling there rather than the active cooling on your uh, chipset there. Um, overall, it does look quite a good board, uh, sort of budget board. Now, I paid uh, sixty five pounds for this, although I did pay I think about ten percent. I think I got ten percent coupon as well, so I think I paid a little bit less than that. But this is about sixty five pounds on Amazon currently. Um, I think that's quite a good sort of budget um, price, really. So it's, it's quite a good price for B550 really, um, you don't really see a lot of B550 mobile boards in this sort of price range but obviously it is a micro ATX board rather than the ATX so you kind of are uh, having to sacrifice a little bit uh, for a cheaper board by going micro ATX but there's so many good cases now that I think going micro ATX is perfectly fine. But without further ado let's jump into the unboxing, there we go. side as you can see there so initially on top here um, I think, yeah you can see that so we have two SATA cables here pretty standard and we have our motherboard that's the first thing on top I'll just be careful to take that out Our I.O. shield, so no integrated I.O. shield, but it's budget mobile, so you expect that. Our multilingual installation guide and our, I think it's user manual. Okay, you, you also get a uh, beer coaster again. <laughs> uh, but yeah, and this is, um, yeah, the user manual. So that, that's quite nice. Um, you don't actually get that's interesting there's no M.2 screws I think these are the okay yeah the actual M.2 screws are actually in there anyway so that's quite good because sometimes you lose them if they're in the box anyway so that's actually quite nice but let's uh, move the box to one side now because we've done the unboxing there um, I mean fairly fairly nice packaging actually to be fair especially for a budget board now uh, Out. 
hopefully you can see this. Um, so overall, what do I think of the uh, model board initially? I think I think the initial design looks quite nice. Uh, it's sort of like it, there is a little bit of brown. Um, it's it's more darkish colour, but there is a little bit of brown to the model board. I would prefer it to like almost totally black, but. Overall, I do think it is quite good. Let's give you a little sort of tour around the motherboard now. Might have to tilt it up a little bit so you can see it a bit better. So our CPU socket is here, obviously, for AM4. A nice heat sink here, which is quite nice. You have a CPU fan header there. And I think it's got two headers on. So you've got one down here and one here as well. We have four DIN slots, so that's quite nice. I'm not sure the exact amount, but I'll put it below the exact amount. I think it's about 64 gigabytes, I would think you'd be able to get for RAM, or you might even get 128 gigabytes of RAM in. But yeah, that's quite good that it's got four, because some budget model boards actually only have two. So you kind of want to avoid that if you, if possible. There's actually another board, which is, I think it's called like the SH or something, which has actually only got two, which is actually by gigabyte as well. So I, I would try and avoid that if possible. Um, yeah, just generally, uh, we haven't got a USB-C port, unfortunately. I won't go through exactly all the ports and everything. There's only USB-3 support, so there's no uh, USB-C, unfortunately. So on here, we actually have the 12 volt RGB, and I think we have the addressable RGB here, which is the 5 volt, I think. Uh, so that, that's quite good that it's got both. Um, as I was saying, uh, there's also a CPU LED, so if you've got the um, AMD sort of uh, the prism cooler, I think it is, which has got like the R RGB on it, then actually you can plug that into there as well, so that's also nice. But yeah, I mean, only two system fan headers, so you will probably need a splitter, which is a little bit of one of those compromises, but kind of is what it is. Uh, one thing I do really like is it has two. Uh, M.2 slots, and I don't know whether they're both NVMe support, but certainly the first one will be MV, M, NVMe support for the first one. I don't know if you can quite see that on the picture there, on the on there, but I'll try and there we go. So as you can see there, um, so that yeah, that is quite good actually to have two. So sometimes on micro ATXs they put one, or sometimes even on ATX they. Interestingly, only put one as well, which is really interesting. I don't know why they do that. Um, I'd always want two at least on my board, and then that way, if you've got your primary boot drive, you can also just expand it afterwards rather than having to add one of the SATA drives in or like a, a SATA SSD or even a, a SATA hard drive. So, quite nice that you could put something like a 5 12 gigabyte into your boot drive and then maybe a one terabyte SSD into the M M.2 slot for more expansion. And the actual screws are actually all put into the board as well, so that's a really nice feature as well. I do like that, because sometimes, you, like I say, you actually lose the screws, so that's not great. Um, but yeah, some nice cooling here. The VRM, I think, um, looks fairly substantial. I think you could certainly run at least like a 5800X with pretty much no problem on this board, so I don't really have any problems there with that. Uh, what we've got on this side, oh, we've also got uh, I think we've got two more uh, 12 volts and a 5 volt adjustable RGB. So that's also nice as well. So there's a bit more support there for that, which is yeah, which is good. Uh, like I said, it's got a little bit of sort of brown to the board, but once it's in the case, and you won't really see that, especially with a tempered glass sort of side panel, which has a little bit of black tint in anyway. I forgot the actual ports. There go over the ports, which is uh, quite important there <laughs> before I was going to sign off. With ports, we've actually got uh, eight USBs. Um, let me see if I can get that. No, not very well. Okay, there we go. So we've actually got eight USBs at the front there, which is really nice. Um, I'm gonna have to tilt to the side to actually see. Uh, we have a PS2 port, which I don't know why they keep putting PS2 ports, but they do. I'd like to see those as just two USBs personally, but hey ho. Uh, a DVI connection and a HDMI connection. So if you are using maybe one of the um, I think it's like 4600 or 4650Gs uh, or something like that. You might need a BIOS update as well with, with them, but um, I think I think you could use onboard graphics perfectly fine with this. So you have got the output 
outputs there. I don't see any reason why they, they, that wouldn't work if you want to have an integrated build instead. There are one gigabyte Ethernet ports and also our audio jacks just here, only three of them here. Obviously it is a, it is a budget motherboard as I was saying, so you're not going to get the full sort of six, like the whole 7.1 surround sound sort of setup. But I do think for a micro ATX board there's quite a generous little layout there. I mean I certainly think eight USBs is really good because even on ATX boards sometimes I've actually seen only six, which really I don't think is acceptable in 2021. I think you've got to have eight now. When you think about it, look at how many USB connections that you actually have now. Keyboard and mouse, that's already two. A headset, a Wi-Fi dongle, so we're on to four. You could have maybe USB pens that you're putting in there. You might have, you might even have like a webcam even. You might even have a, like a USB microphone that you might want to connect in. So before you know it, you could fill up six quite comfortably. And then if you've got eight, you've got a little bit more versatility to add a few more. So I think that's good because otherwise sometimes with six, you might even have to get like a USB hub, which is something you really don't want to have to do if you have got a lot of USBs. I mean, for most people, probably four is going to be enough. So keyboard, mouse, headset, and maybe a Wi-Fi dongle. But for most people, uh, probably four is enough, but I think eight is just really nice to have on the board. And I just don't see why you wouldn't go with eight. You know, it, it, it is what it is. It's just it's one of those things. So yeah, I, ho I hope you do like this little unboxing that we've done. As I said, there will be a build coming up with it soon. Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe if you did like this video. And I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.